What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 Let's Play as the Swedish Empire and potentially this is my last episode. I haven't quite made up my mind if it will be because I can't really don't really know how long the remaining battle is going to take. Um, but in this episode the army of Boris Novosi has attempted to push north and we have intercepted him with Mr. Skorfus. Let's take him out. Largely cavalry based force with well, no, largely infantry-based force with a significant component of cavalry, I was about to say, back to front. So it shouldn't be that much of a challenge to sweep aside. But we have a number of cities that are within range. They've all just rapidly deployed to the pack. I wonder where they are. Okay, my 12s, I'm going to want to put up here. I'm assuming they're not going to push because they've deployed so far back. But let's select... Actually, first of all, let's make sure my militia are well covered. Quite heavy on the guard infantry here. So I might actually get my life grenadier past my Svenska Gardet. You're the high ground. Then let's back up. Back them up with some skirmishers on the flank there. Skirmishers on the left. Mass the cavalry on either flank. General up front. Howitzers. Follow the line forward. And we are going to want to push the line, although they might have quite a wide front. Let's do something like that. There's some of the enemy cavalry. Okay, I want the high ground. Get my cavalry out wide. Push my howitzers up, push my 12 pounders behind the lines to keep them a little bit safe. Skirmishers push up into the trees. Light horse get over there to get some visibility on what's going on through this gap here. Terry push up. General's going to incrementally push forward. But apart from that, I don't think we're going to see that many surprises, so in the interests of saving a little time, I've given my orders. The U men are going to form a bit more defensively. Same with my cavalry. So my militia get ready to form, my horse guards maybe. Yeah, my horse guards are okay there. Let's run these three units, maybe plus my Delta as well. Let's try get some musketeers up within range. Just to pop some shots at them. It's one horse guard unit, so I could kill them with both of my cavalry. But I would rather take them in a mass into the woods. Oh no, you don't have to deploy square yet. But it's possible they'll deploy. This is why I want on my left flank, my militia and so on, to push up. Enemy cavalry is still a risk. Push my cavalry up. I'd like to swing my this contingent here around. So ideally something like that. Push up my cavalry to threaten their rear. The twelves form up on the hill. Now it says unlimber and get ready to pour fire on them because it looks like they're gonna concentrate in the woods. Light infantry form square. Allow my light cavalry to continue. Allow my light infantry to continue to engage. Get my general. No, not you guys. There we go. You push back one cavalry unit. Make sure my 
light infantry fall back because the second unit are about to hit the light dragoons or then my heavy my horse guards can probably stand to attack the 24th horse guards Never be afraid to just dump a load of men into square, because you're going to need it at times. Fortunately, those are my grenadiers, and we did deploy square. Let's run my infantry up into a position where they can shoot down onto the enemy cavalry. Keep pushing my cavalry up. Keep the 12-pounders advancing. That unit's surrounded, but I'm not overly concerned. So it won't be long till the 16th falls. There they go. So now you men can push up. Grenadiers advance. My infantry push. You men push. So keep the cavalry on the left charging. You attack the militia. Then charge in the centre. Quick general. You men both engage the 22nd Regiment to foot. Rally your men. You men push. General, don't get involved. Horse guards smash into the militia. This horse guard unit go after the general's staff. Light cavalry go after the 12th for lancers. E men chase down that enemy cavalry. Light infantry push up. Enemy general's about to get in on the action. Horse guards advance into the general's staff. This unit in Delta charge the 36th. The enemy, the enemy general's broken. And these fellas are still down. Might see a friendly bit of friendly fire with howitzer fire. No, that's pretty good. Well, there we go. First battle of the episode done. And we have a number of towns to take. So we're going to push these fellas back. And you men just hold for now. But yes, we, we are within one turn of Belgorod, Kiev. Moscow, if they if they attempt, well, if we don't get involved in a fight over here, I'm hoping I can lure them in and destroy them. Then we also turn from Minsk. You can't move. We're two turns away from Smolensk, so that's going to be the limiting factor, I think. But other than that, it's just full steam ahead on everything. So let's hit end turn. Let's watch the Russians move in response to us. <laughs> Veteran musketeers are going to trigger the attack. We can't see what the reinforcements are, but we're going to do it. With Mr. Backstrom, we're going to push back this force. And if there's any troops in Moscow, well, ideally, I can defeat this army with one of my armies. Then my other army that's in good, can, good nick can defend. Oh, what the hell was that? Ap deep apologies for that. I've had sound, weird, very weird sound issues from on the campaign map, but in the battle map, that's quite rare. Okay, so my Bjornborg and Militia, well, to be honest, I want to form up a bit flexibly. So my Bjornborg and Militia on one flank and Delta on the other. A Grenadier and Skirmish unit on either flank. Because I want to advance chiefly onto wherever the reinforcements are coming from, not from the enemy right in front of me. Back corner. General Staff. I don't think they're going to be nice and give us two options. Very well. Let us advance. Go try and clear our way through the forest. 
technically speaking, the light horse are probably best served on this high ground. Horse guards are going to be a bit closer to provide that support to the center. My guns follow the line. Do not get involved. Simply advance. And let's try getting my light horse up to here. My heavy cavalry advance through the woods. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna fall back. Which makes sense. So my army advance up to the wood line. Just advance towards the enemy position. Where's the best place to, to be honest? The best place to sight my guns are probably where my light cavalry, my my twelve pounders, are where my heavy cavalry are going to be. This is going to take a bit of time, in which case then my light cavalry may as well abandon the pretense and push up. Oh, did I miss someone? I did, a militia unit. Nuts. Horse guards push up, we've got an opportunity here to try and kill some general staff. Because my horse guards are hidden. I'd have preferred my light cavalry to be here, really. Oh, they can see me. And they're charging anyway. Very well. It's not often... Are you men charging in response? Nope. Well, I'm not going to miss an opportunity to kill the enemy general. So ahead of their lines. So they are going to escape. Heavy cavalry fall back into the woods. Bring my light cavalry down to try and flank the horse guards. It looks like we're going to have a scrap. So my horse guards attack the 10th. Then my light cavalry charging down from the hill. My lateral are going there. Yep, hitting the flank. Very well. Withdraw. The men attack the general's bodyguards. It appears they do not want to fight. So let's go for the general's bodyguard. The dragoons have charged now that my heavies are committed, but they're committed against a very good target, so. Not a fantastic choice. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. See, my cavalry's already winded. Enemy cavalry are going down. My infantry. Well, there we go. Pull my cavalry back. Oh no, they are still fighting us. Try and defeat the 10th. Horse guards my cavalry are much more experienced than theirs are. As the rest of my line advances. But when my infantry line here is in position, my cavalry can fall back under the cover of my squares. Keep attacking the 10th horse guards. We might look well, that 15th horse guards are a bit of a danger, but. Let's keep attacking, killing the 10th. Withdraw my cavalry.
Let's run my cavalry away. If they fancy a charge, we can form squares with my grenadiers and with my Indelta infantry. Let me show my generals over here. Cavalry form up on the hill to try and get your stamina back. You men all advance on their flank, whereas these fellas can maintain the push of my line. Probably want to try to push some of my heavies in. Didn't keep an eye on that well enough, did I? Heavy cavalry charge the 15th. No, don't form a square like that, because you'll get in the way of my other men. Howitzers, unlimber, six pounders. The men are fatigued, Good sir. position. I'm aware you are fatigued. I have little choice. Mr. Backstrom, going over here to support the cavalry, but no, the 10th horse guard's been broken, charging the flank of the 15th. Who are they? Rota. No, my cavalry actually hold. General Staff is holding. Was well, going to keep this flank secure. Limber, you men, my militia push out to the right, to the left flank. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I'm sure they are. The 26th are upset. Boost the morale of my men on the left, because they are... My horse guard is down to half strength. Actually, let's get my light cavalry in to try help break this component, and then we can advance forward. Musketeers, there's light cavalry as well. Bombard them with my artillery. Keep pressuring the flank. My guys are still upset. Our men are yeah, running, I didn't sir. think that was going to hold. That's a special unit of heavy cavalry. No wonder they lasted. Okay, 12s, get over here. Heavy cavalry, get over. Light cavalry, get over. Support, ab abandon supporting that flank. Actually, no, you might sweep through here, because you're pretty good. Pushing Grenadiers over, help back as a blocking force on the left flank. Steamboat on through their army. There we go. And the bulk of my force... Drive them out. Our men are running for yeah, my horse guards charge the 15th. They're exhausted. Yeah, there we go. So they are blown. You men that haven't yet deployed. Push. My 12s can go back up on the hill. Six is limber up. Now oh, it's a limber up. So my front line has to run. My cavalry here is going to push up and hit six pounders at close range. My heavy cavalry is going to push up as well. Let's 
try to do some damage to the 11th. A lot of enemy cavalry coming through here. Bring my light cavalry back out of the mix. They could do with recovering. You might need to run to make up some space on the flank. Six pounders. Get up onto this hill. Howitzers get down here. Huzzah! Keep an eye on the map to make sure that we don't get outflanked by weird reserve decisions. My light cat, actually, no, my heavies can get in. Hit the 6th, hit the 19th. I want to try and sweep through these woods and fire down on top of the enemy positions as much as I possibly can. Can you fire from that position? You can, so... I want to begin wrapping around their left. Something more like that. Cavalry's gone. Push through behind their lines. Ooh, lots of damage to my cavalry. Elite, my elite cavalrymen. I mean, my 12s are, yeah, my 12s are good up here. Ooh, some very dangerous close range fire there. My cavalry, they're probably going to break soon. wavering. Fall back, I want my cavalry. As much as I can have it anyway. Mr. Backstrom, centre. You men run. My men advance down onto them from the woods. Oh, these gunners are charging my line. Brave souls. No, not my guns. Not my precious guns. My light cavalry are here. Bring my heavy cavalry back because I'd like my guns to work. Form up. So... Charge the 20th just to make them clear off. I'm sure they are fatigued. You men. They can get into position. I said you wouldn't think it in Napoleonic times, but it's a game of fire and manoeuvre. Go on, first foot guards. Make ready. And charge them. All of the cavalry, Dan's guns, push. Gunners on limber, six pounders on limber, howitzers on limber. E men also charge the 24th, no, nope, no longer necessary. Excellent. Where's Mr. Bergstrom? Backstrom, not Bergstrom, he's a character from The Simpsons. Bayonet charge the enemy. You men redeploy to defend that formation there. Excellent. Actually, let's not go 
too madly on the offensive. Let's form some good kill boxes. All my artillery can folk can hit these fellas. Well, all my artillery is within range. Excellent, because we have more musketeery entering the field. Push the cavalry out. Mr. Backstrom, get over here to support a bayonet charge. So these formations, then we could get a nice line built here. Oh yeah, lots of my cavalry is quite upset, but that's okay. I'm going to walk some of my infantry up. All of my guns. Barrage. There you go, they're deploying in response to my attack. Make sure I keep my men's morale up. It's one unit of Delta infantry. Holding off a couple of good units, including grenadiers. But the six pounders have routed, and the grenadiers have broken behind them. Now, you men. Form line for battle. In Delta are upset. This unit here is the militia, I would wager. Okay, they're All charging us. Running, Understandably, they're charging us. Few people can play that game. I may end up having to fall back, because Russia being Russia, they're actually quite good at melee combat. Actually, in which case, you guys are probably going to want to do just that. Apologies, Foot Jaeger. Actually, I can just run you away as well. Men my men can run away faster than they can chase because my guys are light infantry. Ugh, he says. Steal the unit of Indelta to plug this formation. Six pounders are doing fine work, although not many men have been killed. Keep the bulk of the artillery fire in this main position. They're getting hit by my 12s. New men run to plug the gap, plug the gap, not plug the gap. Troops advancing. The 8th Foot Guards. They're going to have some pep behind them. We're going to have to bayonet charge this cluster here. There we go. See so you guys. That's the artillery that's routing. decisively charge into the enemy. They've got my general close. But I don't think things are going to go... Things aren't going All too badly. Are Although, pop the... Yeah, my, my guns really didn't help me there. You men charge that unit musketeers. But this is why we have reserves. To plug the gaps. 
I think that might be the last enemy unit entering the field. So this unit of musketeers is, is surrounded. You men advance to fill the gap. All my guns focus on this last enemy. I saw how should I say that? They're not the last enemy. Human advance to fill the gap, though. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest I'm sure they are fatigued, but the enemy is not yet dead. The enemy still exists. There we go. Our militia unit fell. Has come back. So many fallen Russians and Swedes alike. This is where their guns were previously sighted. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I don't give a darn as to their fatigue. My, my howitzer is just attack ground. You men counter charge to make them break because they'll immediately route because they're right at the edge of the map. There they go. What's the name of the game? So many fleeing Russians, including the 8th foot guards. They've already lost about. They've lost a huge amount of men. This is Leibgard Simonovsky Polk. Yeah, let's speed up time to get this unit of reinforcements onto the field. Human, fire at will. Apologies, Bjornborg. You too may burn powder. going down. I wonder what will happen to their officer. Will he make it? Oh, you lucky swine. It's a lot of musket fire and there they go. Huzzah! We pen them back to the edge of the map. And they could not run any further. Close victory. That wasn't a close victory. Our second army hasn't even been engaged. 1,200 men remaining under that force. You can raid if you like. But we have a... F You're going to run around. To be honest, so many of these guys, it doesn't really matter what they do. They're going to fortify Kiev, which is their prerogative. Perfect. Agent detected. Uh, try kill their gen their spy. Got him. Uh, okay, so let's just set up some of these actions. Although where's yeah, he's all the way back here, Mr. Von Doblin, a very good general who I've criminally underused. Get up towards Corland. So you're going to advance towards Belgorod. Let's just, let's just set this up for now. You're going to attack Kiev. You're going to push on towards Smolensk. But you're not going to get there this turn, sadly. Mr. Springporton is going to attack Minsk. With Mr. Groshev, with his good... He's a good general. And you, God, Hagbard Springport, then you are going to be a lucky swine that gets to attack Moscow with a full army inside it. Excellent. But instead of doing that, oh, you, if I was just a bit closer, you could have gone for Smolensk. Nevertheless, keep you close to provide reinforcements to attack the city if that's needed. Um, but. This is pretty darn decisive, so, I mean, we can't, <laughs> none of these guys are going to get involved. 
in the combat. Mr. Skolf, who's just go and attack that Russian army there. Huzzah! Um, but yes, yeah, so let's start to the south and work our way up to Moscow. Although you, to be honest to you, because you're not as going to be as, as important, I may demand your surrender. Chiefly because I'd rather spend my time fighting big battles than the little ones, such as fighting to secure Kiev. So we're not going to need them. But let's bring everyone out to make sure. One thing we're not short of is men. Let's attack the city. Pyotr Rostov. Poor swine. No defences to speak of. So this... To actually, to, yeah, I might have um, been aiming high when I thought I might finish the campaign in this episode because we're already uh, more than halfway through. Ah, well. Should still be... We'll still be good. I think we've been on episode 40 on the dot, I think. Um, okay... I mean, I'm tempted by this hill over here for my 12s. Nevertheless, first focus. Create a solid infantry front line to push in. My Delta and Svenska Gardet. Let's fear live guard on the right. Bjornborg and leave guard Jaeger on the left. Foot Jaeger on E the flank, but they're gonna be they're gonna be bait for cavalry. Two howitzers backing up the front line. Solid cavalry on either flank. Awesome. Let's push. Twelve pounders, get on the no oh that's gonna be that's gonna leave a mark. Fortunately though, because the people move so slowly in this game, it doesn't really matter a huge deal. Okay. You men advance. Push the cavalry up to the top of this hill. Push the cavalry wide here. General is going to take a position somewhere in the centre. You're moving really slow. Do you count as being stuck? Let's take command of them individually. I'm really quite spread out, actually. Yeah, it looks like it's a bit of a... It's an order issue that's causing that. There we go. There we go, everyone's moving up. So this is the 25th Horse Guards. They're a fresh unit, whereas my guys have some experience behind them. Including the 25th Horse Guards, Carabin Jaeger Regiment. They seek the blood of Russians. Oh, I see many, many moving units. See some artillery. I was going to say, my guys were hidden, but they are now no longer. If I can close the gap to the horse guards, I will seek their destruction. 12 pounders, yep, just unlimber. These men on the flank probably would be happier with you joining the battle. Let's try to get my general over here to provide some initial, initial support. 
12 pounders. This building has fallen to the enemy. They've taken a building, eh? That's going to be a target for artillery. Well, I don't think it has. I think they've kind of run past it. Yeah, my horse guards are chipping away at them. Like I said, my light dragoons will suffer a cost. But the more Russians die faster, the better we will all be. These Lance is getting into position. I hear more cavalry. The men are fatigued, sir. I must I'm sure them. they are fatigued. We can't wait for everyone to be feeling hunky dory. To quote Gene Hackman from Crimson Tide in my head. I was like, from the hunt for an October. Wait a minute, he wasn't in the hunt for an October. Let's pull my light cavalry out. Actually, no, keep them in. We do have an advantage over them. 74 Dragoons versus 80 of mine. So these 98 light Dragoons might be the tipping point. My howitzers, I want to push them up a little bit so they can start bombarding this mass in the city. He managed to make this lance unit route just from musket fire alone. I mean, none of this inspire does anything. 60 versus 67. Okay, phew. Let my musketeers open fire. Oh, shot that dragoon out of the saddle. He's a good heavy cavalry. falling back into the town, which is definitely not what I want. Form Pike Square. Even the dreaded horse guards can't break a Pike Square. So you men attack that concentration with rapid fire. These cavalry are going to get shot to bits between these two formations. They're encouraged their flanks to secure. There's another unit of... Oh, it's the Lancers coming back. Yeah, they're being engaged. They aren't charging us, which is positive. So you men are going to push like so. I'm not overly enamoured with pushing into the city, really. Yeah, my 12s just keep hitting them. Eventually they will be forced out of the city. Their position will be increasingly untenable. I've got Jaeger push around, put Jaeger, give them back up. Oh, you men hit the 25th Horse Guards. If you didn't start shouting, I would never have heard it. You know, you men do something more like that. Okay, good. They're starting to advance through the town, which is more what I want. Let 
Where, where do I want my commander? Control of the, that central house would be good. But I want to see where the, these guys filter out through. Do they go through here? They do, and I can send some of these units around the flank. Right now, they can't really provide an effective counter. To my troops. Probably some close range firepower and support. You men are going to be pour fire onto the head of that enemy column as it makes its way out of the town. It's not above my lifeguard Jaeger to bear and charge that militia unit, to be honest. Glorious victories, huh? it sounds it's stupid when I say it out loud. Retarget my howitzers to someone behind the line. These units just hold the flank with, with a lot of cavalry that sat here just quote holding the flank. Good, the militias have collapsed in the bayonet charge. Bjornborg, advance up and secure that gap. Lifeguard Jaeger, push up to here. Okay, now might be the time to deploy my cavalry. I'm hoping I can... what well, I will want to deploy my cavalry, because you've got a unit of... Fortunately, it's a weakened unit of horse guards, but there's still a risk. Push my hussars around the rear. You men push up, but hold fire. You men both form up. You men bayonet charge this unit of militia. With the grenadiers in support. These foot, yeah, you get garrison the town hall. Attack the militia. 12 pounders fire on the centre. Infantry. Sure, you men try to secure the town hall. We've got quite a nice little cauldron forming here. These in Delta push that unit of militia to break them. Okay, right, we have a we have a building to target now. Where's my general? Push him up. We've taken the buildings up. Push on one into the garrison militia. Now these Swedish lifeguards, you push up. Okay, the push is going to be on. The light horse charge in, you men charge in. This is it now. Artillery ceasefire. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. I know they are. But we don't give a damn about fatigue. We got Russians to kill. Okay. 
kill the militia. I think the only unit they've got left fighting is... Oh, here it is. It's a unit of skirmishers, but everyone else... Their entire army is broken, sir. Pursue them. Drive them from the battlefield. This is really what you don't want to happen when you're defending a town, <laughs> is you just get surrounded and mobbed. But that was pretty sweet. We lost 431 men taking that city. Beautiful. New men repair. Then let's go over here for Mr. Springporten. It's going to attack Minsk. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. And next time it probably will be the last episode because we're going to be fighting to take Minsk, take Moscow and take Smolensk. Awesome. But... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the last episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 campaign as Sweden. Cheers, everyone.